Wow. Ooh, I feel like that's out of Game of Thrones. That's some commitment. Please welcome the host of Wedding Talk, Olympic gold medalist, Tara Lipinski. Oh, okay. Tara, great to see you, but first you things too. first, we oh, have to yeah. do a champagne toast. Let's do it. To your yes. new wedding show. Oh, my goodness. Salud. Salud. Congratulations. Thank All you. Right. This, I love a good wedding. Mm. What makes this one different? I think we're leading off with a bang with this nice. Halloween episode. Well, the greatest thing about this show, because I didn't know what to expect. You know, I posted a lot of things, and when I got this call, I was like, done deal. I'm a hopeless romantic. I love planning my own wedding. This is going to be magical. But when I sat down and actually saw these wedding videos, I realized they're wedding films. They're just spectacular. Yeah. And we cover every different type of wedding and celebration you can think of, as you can see. Wait, we saw <laughs> Halloween. Tell us some other of the weird ones. Oh, there was some amazing ones. Of of couples that really struggled through COVID to get a wedding and plan it and actually have it because of COVID. So yeah. they thought of these incredible ideas. One couple up a mountain, 10 people, closest people, volcano erupting behind them. I don't even understand the Ooh. footage. They're like walking Wait, what? with the smoke. Wait for this, guys. Wow. Wait, so that, that, that was probably <laughs> very hot. And also, you got to get your timing right, right? If it's yeah. like time to go. I had so many questions. I was like, is this safe? Yeah. Look at this shot wait, right here. Wait, what? what? And How is this possible? It's lava. That's, that's Meanwhile, lava. that guy doesn't want to marry me. He's like, I got five seconds. Hold I'm running second. out of here. This and is then, all you and get. And then the Polaroid, you go from lava to, to snow right there. So wait a minute. Earlier, I was saying that this is one of the busiest wedding seasons in the last 50 years. That's, that's unbelievable. Wow. And October, I know, is a busy month. But why uh, this particular time? I don't know. I feel like also after seeing all these couples getting to know their stories and realizing how hard it was through COVID yeah. to plan a wedding, that everyone is just ready to party. <laughs> yeah. Are there new yeah. trends you're seeing in all of these weddings? So that's what I do. I have two co-hosts, Jose uh, Rilone, who's an incredible wedding planner, and also Joe Meyer, event planner extraordinaire. And I just pick their brains. What's new? What's, what's hot? What's not? What's trending? What are we going to see next? So I get a little frustrated, though, because when I'm watching this show, I was like, where was the show when I was oh, planning right. a you wedding? You done differently. I'm upset. So I went home to Todd, my husband. I'm like, <laughs> OK, we've got to do a vow renewal. I know we're only at five years, but we got to do something. Because yeah. I'm getting really upset every single day. Oh, look wow. how gorgeous. Yours was picture perfect. It was perfect. perfect. It, looks it nice. really was. So what happened at that fire dance wedding? Oh, that was spectacular. A party. They partied for four days oh, straight. Look at that. Fire dancers, look at this. That's what I'm talking they about. They brought right there. these fire dancers in and this wedding was absolutely spectacular. But like I said, there is a wedding for everyone on this show. We do these glitzy glam destination weddings. We do amazing cultural weddings. We do the isolated weddings of helicopters to glaciers. Wait, so take, isolated weddings? You mean you have no guests and like, yeah. you whisk them away? And... Yeah, yeah, just just the two of you plus someone that's marrying you. It's you know, really? There's so much you can do. That's this is what I didn't know. And this is why I was like, yeah. I need to add it all. You still keeping up with uh, skating? You been doing I skating? am. I'm about to start skating season with Johnny next week. And oh. um, yeah, we're not in an Olympic year anymore, but skating is all year long, guys. All year long. Look how pretty this is. Wow, I love that you pretty. still really skate all the time. Good for you. Well, listen, since it is Flashback Friday, oh, yeah, let's do a little do trip it. down memory lane champagne. on Tara's social this. media. Oh, boy. Pulled up one of her photos. Where are we and, going? and let's see uh, what's going on right here, if you can describe. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Guys, this was such a huge... I, I was in awe. I, I was probably 14 here. You're so I don't cute. even know. And it was like my one of my first red carpet type events. I was so nervous. Who is that? Jamie Lee Curtis. I was going to say, is that Jamie Lee Curtis? Oh, my God. Yeah, I didn't, well, she's dressed like a witch. I, I was like, is that Jamie? That. I didn't want to just be <laughs> presumptuous. Wait, is that I Jamie Lee Curtis? I didn't know it was her either, so that yeah. was good. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Very but cool. at this next one, this is your boy band pick. What is uh, going oh, on in here? Back in the day when I toured so much, we would cross paths. And Britney Spears and Sync. And so you made friends, and then we all invite Chris each Kirkpatrick? other to go Look places. You. Did you ever try to date anybody in the book? Was there ever any crossover or anything there, fun? I, I didn't. I, I, she was a focused I didn't athlete. I didn't I know, she it. was too young. She was a world we class young, athlete. I, okay. okay, the last one, the best one, this throwback Olympic photo. Aww. That moment, Tara, I think we ask you every time you're here, but what do you remember most? I don't remember anything, really. Best it was just best. such a surreal moment because I was young, but practically my whole life at that point, I have I was dreaming of this moment of skating the perfect program and then it happened, you know, 11:01 on February 20th and you're like, "Wait a minute. What is happening? Is this real?" So, it was just 
a pinch me moment. That's, That's awesome. Incredible. Well, congrats on the show. Cheers. Thank you. Great Thank to you. see you. Salute. We will be Love following their show. Yay. Be sure to check out Wedding Talk on the Crackle Streaming app. Really, really wild and good. And if you're looking for something new to watch, we got three new picks you're going to love coming up next. Why is bubbly so good? I the love best. a little bubbly. It's just relaxing. Very nice.